Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of something new, something shiny, something purdy. A new survival game built on Unreal Engine 5 in the Stone Age. And we have a new trailer titled Primitive. Ooh, ah, it did get my attention. Every time I see Unreal Engine 5, I know it doesn't mean that the graphics are going to be like, ooh, amazing and crazy. That being said, I'm looking for new games that is going to push this new 4090 to the limits. Maybe Primitive is going to be it. Likely going to be a pretty short video. Right now we're on the website Clutch Points. Gamebox announces Primitive Survival in the Stone Age. Today, developer Gamebox has announced their latest game, Primitive. With this announcement, they have also launched a trailer to give us a glimpse into what the game is like. And of course, I'm going to play that trailer for you. Raw 4K best possible quality so i gotta use the 4090 for something so we're gonna read for just a minute which will give you an idea of what we are going for primitive is a new is a brand new survival shooter set in the stone age according to the executives from gamebox the game will be very similar to ubisoft's far cry primal however compared to far cry primal primitive aims to show a more realistic environment that exists during that time this has meant that it would be more of a raw will be more raw with its survival elements with how wild environment was during that era. And you will feel that during this trailer. I feel like raw is a good descriptive word. Not much details were given about the story and the setting so far. However, it seems that the game, the players will be put up against different forces of nature. This can range from very harsh and unforgiving weather all the way to an environment that could kill the player at the drop of a hat. Because of how unforgiving the surroundings are during that era, players will be required to be, be, be capable of building a shelter for protection and survival. There are also wild animals, which of course is the fun part of a game like this, that can harm the player if you approach them the wrong way. Aside from the forces of nature, there are also the Neanderthals that you will be up against as the player. It seems that there will be a tribe system where the player's tribe can go up against other tribes in the game. So you are dealing with the forces of nature, you are dealing with the animals and you are dealing with the other tribes. Sounds like there's a lot going on. Aside from these gameplay details, they have also mentioned that Primitive is being developed on a modern engine. Currently, Primitive is using the new Unreal Engine 5 for its graphics. By using this brand new engine for its graphics, the game could deliver realistic depictions of the setting and help the players become more immersed in these dangerous environments. As of the announcement, there is no specific release date so far. Okay, you have all been so patient. You've all heard me with my terrible reading. Now let's check out Primitive. Now, I feel like I could already guess what's going to happen in the comment section. A lot of people are going to say, not another survival game. I can't take it. Or this isn't my cup of tea or no thanks. It doesn't look good or it doesn't look fun, which is all. I mean, maybe all of that is true. 
And of course, there are a ton of survival games, but I will say that word raw, them going for realism, you can definitely tell in this trailer. I feel like this is going to be a very unforgiving game. And when you're talking about realism, when you're talking about survival, it might pay off for them. Right now, we are on the official Steam page for Primitive. Whenever we get a Steam page, we know that the game is real and it always gives us some good information. Welcome to the brutal reality of the Stone Age. Fight, conquer, dominate. An open world full of traps and unexpected events, breathtaking views, dynamic changes in weather conditions, deadly beasts, and hostile tribes. Welcome to Primitive and Dare to Survive. No release date announced. Now, I always like to see the tags that the developer, the publishers put on their games. So for Primitive, they used Adventure, Open World, Survival, Action, and FPS. And it's really interesting, FPS. I don't know. That's the only thing, like, I really wish this game was third person if I had to pick, but I know why they went first person. So we do have Coming Soon, so it does have that. And of course, you could wish list this. This is not a sponsored video. I just was doing my research. I saw this and decided to make it. I'm not making money, but if you want to wish list this, it will be in the description below. This is a single player game and the Steam page has lots of good information and you don't want to hear me read anymore, so I'm not going to go through it. But everything you saw in the trailer is all broken down right here, but it does talk about immersion quite a lot. Now, when I saw Unreal Engine 5, I thought this game was going to have huge system requirements and it actually doesn't. So on here, the only thing that I could really see that's like decently big is it is requiring a 20 series video card. So you're talking about three generations old. If you're trying to play this on something five, actually five years ago, you're probably fine. Eh, maybe five years ago. Any laptops, any of those style of games, this probably isn't going to run it well, but eight gigs of RAM, that's nothing. i7-6700, that's nothing. I feel like this is a mistake, which it is. This says 20 megabytes. Hey, if you're out there, primitive, there's a mistake on your Steam page. 20 megabytes of available space, but obviously that is supposed to say 20 gigabytes, as you could see right here. Hey, look at that. We found a mistake live, or I guess as I'm recording this video. So anyways, this will be linked in the description if you want to check it out. That's all I've got. I love covering new games and seeing what's on the horizon. 2023, maybe we'll see this. It is going to be a great year for gaming. A couple of announcements. I actually have a lot of announcements today. Coming on Wednesday, my podcast, This Week in Action, Podcast 43. We are going to be hosting Steve from 11th Hour Games. 11th Hour Games created the game Last Epoch. We're going to be doing an interview, kind of a, a session, talking about multiplayer, talking about some concerns from the community. That will be on Wednesday. Thursday, I am going to be streaming the Game Awards live. We'll go through the pregame. We'll have a couple drinks. We'll talk. We'll play the game we, we always play, which is pass or play. So anytime a new game comes up, we'll discuss if we're going to pass on it or play it. It's always fun. Thursday on my Twitch, we will be streaming the Game Awards. So Wednesday on Twitch. Steve from 11th Hour Games, Thursday on Twitch, Game Awards, all of that is linked in the description. Okay, two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channels we come to the end of 2022. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 52 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Weekly plug podcast, weekly blog post, access to the VIP lounge. She could chit chat with me every day, chance to win custom merch, special title, lots of goodies, depending on where you sign up at. Again, first link in the description. That's all I've got. Primitive. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Erin out.